get the version and the edition of the current database tier and as we can see it is 2012 service pack 2 and the edition is enterprise so it is recommended to have an enterprise edition but of course we can have a standard and we can downgrade but i will use the enterprise edition so i will go to add role and features and make sure that i have the dotnet framework 3.5 and also prerequisite to have the service back of the dotnet framework 3.5 i will run all the windows update to make sure I get the latest update before installing the SQL Server and then mount the SQL Server 2014 ISO file and open the new machine that I will install the SQL Server actually it will be the same application tier with the TFS so install new SQL type the product key accept the license and participate in the customer experience it's always improve the product To be connected to the internet so you can get all the updates everything went well install feature and here i will of course choose the database engine the full ticket and the analysis service reporting service this is a require for tfs but i will choose also reporting service at end for sharepoint and reported reporting service SharePoint and this is for SharePoint and I will configure them even later and management tool basic next I will use the default instance and I will turn all service to be automatic and always review the collision to make sure it is case insensitive and access accent sensitive this is the required collision for the tfs okay add the current user and add the tfs service as usual if you following my installation configuration i usually add the tfs service in this step Also, for the analysis service, I will do the same as the current user and add TFS service to be an admin. Install and configure. This is the required configuration for the reporting. And install. After installation successfully, let's open the SQL Management Studio and connect to the machine. We can find that the only database exists is the reporting server database.